Hey, it's Robin, and I just wanted to talk to you a little bit today about the importance of setting realistic goals. So there's a few components to goals that you should think about. You want them to be specific, you want them to be measurable, um, you want them to be achievable, realistic, and have a timeline. And so I have a Fitbit, and I, um, it gives you a really good goal, right? A step goal for the day. And so I've had my step goal at 10,000 for two years, and it's been a, a good goal for me. It's been something that most days I can achieve, but it's not super easy. I do have to work towards it, and some days I don't hit it, and, but most days I do. Um, and it feels good to hit that goal. So once I injured my Achilles, obviously 10,000 steps has kind of been out of the question for me. And I was finding that I was starting to get, you know, really frustrated with my Fitbit. Like, you know, you know I would look at it, get, you know, you get your weekly reports and I would look at it and I would just think, oh, like, it's terrible. I'm not, be I'm never going to meet my goal again is sort of how I felt. And I got a new Fitbit for my birthday and it uh, gave me reminders every hour to get up and move into 250 steps every hour. And I, you know, I mostly can't do that. <laughs> so it was pretty frustrating. Um, and so I decided that I needed to make more realistic goals because this was seriously not working for me. And so what did I do? I changed my goals on Fitbit. I figured out how to turn off the, the reminder um, because walking 250 steps every hour is just not realistic. I spend way more time with my foot elevated than I would like. It's getting better, um, but I'm still not there yet. And um, so I changed my goal. I changed my step goal to 2,000 steps a day. And I, I was doing, you know, it, it felt really good to feel, you know, you know how your Fitbit, if you have one, you know how it buzzes when you reach your goal and, you know, it has like little, um, fireworks or whatever and it felt really good to hit that goal and I was trying to hit it earlier 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 in the day and I was thinking okay I need to change my goal I need to make it higher you know and it, it feels like progress right um, but now I'm progressing into walking in two shoes more of the day but I find then that my ankle is more sore because it's not supported in this big boot if the muscles are having to work um, so kind of you know not able to walk as much so I'm sticking with 2,000 steps for a little bit. Um, but just, it just goes to show you that you need to have a measurable goal, if your goal or an, a realistic goal. If your goal is not something that is achievable, um, like for example, when I went to guide camp and I walked around way, way, way more than I had, I still didn't reach 10,000 steps. I think I got to about 9,000 or a little bit more. Um, but I was pretty sore after that and the next day I couldn't do very much. Um, so it's important to set something that's realistic because if it's too high, it just ends up being, um, and I mean, I guess it depends on your personality too, but for me, in this case, it was something that instead of me striving for it, it was just impossible to reach and it was just making me feel, you know, it was just reinforcing how much I couldn't do. Um, and that's just the way it is in this situation. So having a realistic goal is super important. So if you're setting goals, Keep those things in mind. Make it specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and uh, have a time frame. That's why I like the, the, the Fitbit. It has a daily goal, and you can even do an hourly goal. And you know, I'm hoping um, that I can get back to that soon because I think that's a pretty cool feature that this has. And I do do you know some sitting in the day normally, working at my computer. And uh, I, I'm, I really like the idea of having that reminder to get out and move around. But right now, it's not helpful. So I hope you guys all have an amazing day.